It's a kind of revolution happening. The customer mindset, I believe, is fundamentally shifted. We now believe that we're the center of the universe, so that our expectations have increased massively. We expect more from our brands, more from our retailers. The high streets got dull. You know, we're bored, actually. So a lot of my experience, a lot of the ideas that I've formulated, uh, because I lived in the center of New York for four years, seeing the little local pop-up markets, we're wanting products that are cared for a little bit more, a little bit more ring fence, that we know their provenance is simpler. New York's kind of a hotbed. Businesses either thrive or die almost overnight. So it's a great sort of testing ground for, for what people really want. We want innovation, we want fresh thinking, and more importantly, we want things to be real, authentic, genuine. We're looking much more for brands and spaces and places that are niche and are specialist. We want the not a product. We want the coffee, not a coffee. There's no shortage of access. So it's in this search, you know, we're moving away from some of those big brands, the Starbucks and the Costas. You know, what worries Starbucks isn't Costa. What scares Starbucks is the rise of the small artisan guy that's got the cupping room out the back and, and the roasting room, because they can't compete with that on that scale. So that's where we're seeing the revolution. They're not competing in numbers, but in terms of where our heart lies. We have huge expectations for everything. I think there's an absolute revolution happening in service. We're becoming much more technologically savvy, and yet we really want human connection. So we want to know it's the product, and we want to know that when we walk into a space that they kind of love us a little bit. In my mind, the high street is absolutely ripe for revolution, and we're starting to see the beginnings of that.